few construction projects manage to generate as much intrigue and excitement as stadium builds. These awe-inspiring structures have continually pushed the boundaries of design to meet increasingly ambitious demands. Whether it's boosting capacity, improving fan experience, adopting radically different styles, or taking more versatile approaches, stadium planners have been setting new standards for decades. Recent builds have continued this trend and further raised the bar. India's Sadar Patel Stadium is a prime example. The vast venue has taken the title of world's biggest cricket stadium, offering space for 110,000 fans. The newly opened Al Janoub Stadium in Qatar also stands out. One of eight venues that will host matches at the controversial 2022 FIFA World Cup, the ground was designed to resemble a traditional Arabian fishing boat that holds great cultural significance in the region. Now, as we enter a new decade, architects and engineers are pushing the boundaries once again. We begin our roundup in Nevada, where one of the most spectacular and expensive stadiums ever conceived is entering its final stage of construction. Costing almost 2 billion US dollars, the Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas will be the long-awaited new home of the Raiders, an NFL club that is relocating from Oakland in California. Once complete, the venue will feature a retractable field of natural turf, a domed ETFE roof to keep out the fierce desert sun, a black glass exterior, and four large rolling doors that open up to impressive views of the Las Vegas Strip. Spreading out over 1.75 million square feet and with room for 65,000 fans, expandable to 72,000, the stadium will also be used for a variety of other sporting and non-sporting events. In total, the venue will incorporate 28,000 tons of structural steel and more than 100,000 cubic yards of concrete, with almost half a million bolts holding it all together. Over on the East Coast, Miami Freedom Park is the proposed permanent residence of David Beckham's Inter Miami, a new football club set to join Major League Soccer in 2020. The 26,000-seat stadium features a compact auditorium topped with a lightweight translucent roof designed to evoke the wings of a flamingo, the club's chosen symbol. On one side of the ground, a soaring single-tier grandstand will be a haven for the team's more vocal supporters. While at the other end, the top of the structure opens up to make way for premium hospitality, including a rooftop cocktail bar. Large multimedia screens will be visible both inside and out including a giant display that will show live matches to fans watching from the park opposite. The arena is just one part of a one billion US dollar project to redevelop a 131 acre plot of land near the city's airport. The entirely private funded complex will also include one of the city's largest public parks, 11 community football fields, a hotel, shops, restaurants, and even a tech hub. The club hopes to move in by 2022 and will, in the meantime, play its first home games at a temporary renovated ground in Fort Lauderdale. Setting out to create a ballpark like the world has never seen before, the owners of Japanese baseball team the Nippon Ham Fighters have truly raised the bar in stadium design. The 530 million US dollar Hokkaido ballpark will boast a striking high-peaked retractable roof, reminiscent of the old-style homes that the island is known for. An enormous transparent glass wall on the outfield side of the ground will enable the venue to be fully closed during the cold, snowy winter months, while ensuring it can still support a natural grass field. Fans will be seated four tiers high, with the symmetrical playing surface, uncommon in baseball, lying just below ground level. Built adjacent to a new entertainment district that will also provide restaurants, retail units, housing and parks, the stadium is due to break ground in 2020, ahead of its opening in 2023.
Qatar's 40,000 capacity Ras Abu Aboud is said to become the world's first fully demountable stadium. Made from recycled shipping containers, the arena's modular design allows for a dramatic reduction in building materials, leading to reduced waste and a much smaller carbon footprint as compared to other stadiums of this size. Each container will be modified to suit a range of purposes, such as removable seating, concession stands and toilets. The structure is being built on an artificial waterfront promontory in Doha's West Bay and will be completely taken apart after the tournament. Its parts will then be used in smaller football venues around the world. English Premier League club Everton has now submitted its plans for a 645 million US dollar new stadium at Bramley Moor Dock on the banks of the River Mersey in Liverpool. The 52,000-seat arena will be constructed on a semi-derelict World Heritage site in the north of the city. Its brickwork base is a nod to the area's historic warehouse buildings and maritime past, while the sleek steel and glass roof will help to give the stadium a more modern image. To create an atmosphere of intensity and intimacy, fans will be sat as close to the pitch as regulations allow, with an imposing single-tiered stand on the south end. There will also be sections in the lower tiers that can be converted to safe standing if new legislation permits it being reintroduced in the future. Set to complete in 2023, the stadium will form a key part of a US$7 billion US dollar wider plan to overhaul Liverpool's waterfront. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.